Hey, how's it going today? Uh, I'm Kai, and uh, today I'm going to be sh uh, uh, showing you uh, Auto Hedge, which is uh, one of the first ever fully autonomous uh, hedge funds powered by agents and agents that work together, collaborate, and help you basically analyze um, stocks in real time, analyze the risk in real time, and uh, even give you uh, the ability to make trades um, fully autonomously. So it's called Auto Hedge. It's on the uh, Swarm Corporation GitHub. Uh, would love and appreciate a star and a fork and contributors. Um, we, we have a lot of um, new features that we want to implement. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's the GitHub. Uh, come check it out. And uh, basically, uh, we have a couple of agents here. So we have a director agent, uh, which basically uh, formulates a strategy and a thesis. Um, and it also works with a ticker agent, which is another agent that we built to analyze stock data very reliably. It fetches a bunch of stock data and uh, it's also very easy to use, but this is just to analyze stock data. This doesn't do much, much beyond that. Uh, but it takes in real-time data. It also takes in historical data. It takes in the RSI, 50-day moving average, 200-day moving average, and a bunch of other financial metrics. Um, and so we have a director agent for a strategy. Then we have a quant agent for technical analysis. Then we have a risk management agent for position sizing and risk assessment. And then we have a execution agent uh, that uh, creates a, like a super specialized uh, order, you know, buy and sell order um, and things like that. So um, you can get started with pip install um, auto hedge. Uh, you just do pip3 install uh, dash capital U auto hedge. And uh, It'll install the package for you. Um, you put these keys, you put your OpenAI key and your workspace directory. Now we're probably gonna be integrating uh, Olama to uh, make this fully local. So um, if, if you get help with a PR for that, you know that, that would be amazing. Uh, and then you also put your workspace directory, which is where all your logs uh, will be located. And uh, yeah, so for the usage is super simple. You can do this in only a couple of lines of code. Uh, you just import it. Uh, you put the stocks that you want to analyze pretty soon. You won't even have to give the stocks. You just give it a portfolio like I want to invest in high growth energy stocks uh, and it'll scan uh, through the stocks. And uh, but yeah, for now, you just put the stocks that you want. You initialize it and then you give it a task. You say, let's analyze NVIDIA to see if we should buy it. We have 50K in allocation and then you just run. You just run the, the swarm. Uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, I think less than 10 lines of code. Um, without the comments so yeah and so basically the architecture is uh, as I mentioned before you have a director agent which talks to the quant agent which talks to the risk manager which talks to the execution agents and then uh, we have a trade output um, and then the, the like the director will approve the order yes or no um, and so uh, it, it outputs JSON and it also saves the JSONs to a folder of your choosing so uh, you can you can look at all the analysis and, and things like that. Um, we also have a couple of more diagrams here. We have uh, this diagram, which is a very high level uh, diagram. You know, your client trading system, you have director, quant, risk, execution. Then we have a trading cycle sequence. Uh, this is a little bit more complicated. Um, and then we have a, a trade state machine. And so basically like initialization, thesis generation, quant analysis, risk assessment, order generation, order execution, monitoring, new cycle, and et cetera. Uh, then we also have a couple of other cool diagrams. So yeah, let's uh, get started with the code. And uh, yeah, so um, all you have to do to use this, so if you jig, you could jig clone the repo, which is complicated, or you just pip install. And if you pip install it, you, you can just open up a new file. <coughs> You just open up a new file and you just put this code in there. So uh, we could change this. Uh, we can make a new uh, thing saying, uh, let's uh, let's act as if we are uh, BlackRock looking at uh, AI companies with 500, 500 mil in allocation. Provide a general uh, portfolio overview with goals of uh, reward and risk and put uh, some stocks. 
So uh, I'm using Claude to specialize this a little bit. Um, so we can say as blog well as by aiming for a balanced risk reward profile. So yeah, basically here we give it a couple of stocks: Apple, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, and then it says uh, as as BlackRock, let's evaluate uh, AI companies for portfolio with fi 500 million in allocation, aiming for a balanced risk reward uh, profile. And so we're gonna run this, and uh, yeah, so. Um, I would suggest putting your stocks here, but the task here should be broad. You should uh, say like, what is the goal of the portfolio? You should also say like how much you have an allocation. Um, and you should also say like your risk, uh, your risk profile. So um, yeah, so now we can see the agents working together. Um, this is the ticker agent fetching data in real time. Um, and we're gonna see, we're gonna start seeing the agents running pretty soon. The current price is significantly below the 50-day moving average, 231, um, and the uh, oh above the 50-day moving and the 200-day moving average, 207, indicating that a strong upward trend. However, it's essential to compare this price with the historical data industry peers to assess whether it's, it is overvalued or fairly priced. Market capitalization 3.7 trillion. Apple is one of the largest companies in the world, providing stability but also making it harder to sustain high growth assets high growth rates compared to smaller companies. Then we have just more financial analyst stuff. Then we have the director. So the director is kind of like the boss of the swarm and this is what he's saying. Um, the profit earning ratio of 40.89 and an RSI of 96 suggests that stock may be overvalued in the short term, indicating potential for a correction. The company's massive market capitalization provides stability, but limits a high, a high growth potential compared to smaller more nimble competitors and so overbought rsi the extreme rsi levels uh increases the likelihood of a price correction investors should prepare for potential short-term uh volatility um then you have trade parameters monitor for a price pullback to enter in a more favorable level ideally when the rsi falls below uh, 70 exit consider taking profits if rsi remains high and remains and price remains uh, exceeds historical resistance levels, especially nearing 260. Then we have the quant agent, which is just analyze the metrics deeper. Um, then we have the risk manager, um, you know, recommended portfolio size, given the high confidence in Apple's long-term growth potential and uh, acknowledging the potential for, um, for Apple. Then execution. So, um, this is basically analyzing. Uh, I'll stop running this right now. So, um, yeah, let's see. Stock analysis for Google. So, okay, that's uh, analyzing Google. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The following chain is structured to capitalize on potential price corrections. A limit order is chosen to ensure entry at a more favorable price. Quantity, 108,000 shares. With a 25 million allocation and estimated entry price, this quantity allows for the desired investment size while maintaining diversification within the portfolio. Entry price, 230. Set below the current market rate and close to the 50-day moving average at uh, 231. This entry price anticipates a pullback in line with RSI adjustments and seeks to capitalize on potential corrections for a better entry point. Stop loss, 220. A position below key support levels to protect against further declines. And yeah, actually I think this this might be complicating things a, a, little, a little bit too, too much. Um, let's just do uh, NVIDIA. For now, I want you to see how it works with one, just one stock and then you can go from there. Um, so as I mentioned before, um, as these agents are running, essentially what's gonna happen is the, the director is gonna work with the ticker agent, which is gonna analyze the stock price, profit earnings, RSI, 50 day moving average, 200 day moving average. And then um, it's gonna analyze that and then decide whether or not to buy given 
um, our, our, our portfolio goals. So the, 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 the more instructive you are here with your goals, such as like, you know, how much percentage gain do you want? Um, and you know, your risk reward profile, then it, it'll do much, much better. Um, if you're super specific. So NVIDIA, um, 139, which is slightly above the 50 day moving average, uh, indicating a bullish uh, sentiment market cap, 3.42 trillion. Uh, positions nobody as one of the largest players in the semiconductor industry profit earnings 50 point uh, 54.94 uh, uh, eps earnings per share 2.54 indicates reasonable profitability um rsi uh 41.72 uh 50 day moving average is 138 200 day moving average is 114. so this is the director um Potential pitfalls, the high profit earning ratio suggests potential overvaluation if growth expectations are not met. The stock could face a downward pressure, market volatility. Uh, the semiconductor industry is subject to rapid growth. Um, and trade parameters, um, trade parameters, let's see. Consider entry entering positions on market dips, particularly if the price approaches the 200 day moving average, which could provide more attractive risk reward profile. Um, then we have the quant analyst, which is just going to analyze um, like all the data and uh, technical score uh, confidence um, with price supported by moving average. The trend indicates a conti uh, continuing bullish trend. Um, risk metric uh, calculation 1.5 on the daily for a 5 million position. Expected shortfall indicating potential losses beyond the VAR threshold. Um, probability score and... Uh, yeah, so the risk uh, risk manager. Uh, recommended position size. Allocation a strategy. Given the bullish technical indicators and moderate risk, it's advisable to allocate a conservative position portion to NVIDIA to balance potential gains against valuation risk. A 5% of the 500 million portfolio equivalent to 25 million, uh, this allocation considers the need for diversification risk mitigation. So 1.5 on a daily basis uh, for the 25 million uh, valuation, uh, 25 million position indicates uh, equaling a potential daily loss to 375,000. Expected shortfall 2.3%, indicating potential loss beyond the uh, VAR threshold, equaling uh, 575 in uh, adverse scenarios. Maximum drawn estimated at 10% for a significant adverse market movement, equaling a potential loss of 2.5 million from the position size. Uh, market risk uh, exposure with historical volatility of 0.24. NVIDIA presents a moderate uh, market risk, suggesting potential market price swings. Correlation risk. Monitor the correlation with other stocks and indicate uh, systemic risk. So it creates a risk score. Um, overall risk, war, uh, risk score is 0.76. Moderate risk. The overall risk score reflects a moderate risk reward profile. Um, then we have the execution agent, which would you know make the order. Like a professional order, so you have Nvidia limit order, uh, five hundred uh, fifty-eight thousand shares, approximately twenty-five million. Um, entry price four hundred twenty-five. Uh, this uh, entry price is slightly below the current market price. Uh, below the current market price, allowing for an entry on a market dip closer to the fifty-day moving average. Um, take profits at five hundred based on potential price appreciation of growth expectations light align with market forecasts and technical indicators. Um, you know, time and force, good to cancel. And the, the, the trading director will approve the, the order. Um, and then you have a JSON of the full, um, you have a JSON of the full history and it also saves it to a filter called outputs um, where you can basically analyze the entire history of the uh, run. So you have a name, description, ID, uh, stocks, you know, task, timestamp, and then you have the thesis, risk assessment, order, decision, timestamp, current stock, and et cetera, and et cetera. And so um, in the future, we're going to be adding crypto. Um, I met up with a, a fund manager uh, yesterday and he wanted crypto. So, um, yeah, we'll probably be adding crypto. I don't know if you, you know, want to, you know, invest in crypto. We're also uh, adding an E-Trade right now, so we can actually make the trades. It doesn't make the trades yet because um, we need like a professional account with these people. So we're making APIs for that, and we're going to be testing that quite extensively. 
Um, also, a long TD Ameritrade, um, which is now part of Charles Schwab, I believe. Um, so we'll be adding E-Trade and or TD Ameritrade, maybe even Robinhood. I don't know if Robinhood has an API, um, but you'll soon be able to have the agents uh, like actually making the trades because now they are not, unfortunately. So um, and we're also going to be doing that with crypto. So if you if you use crypto, it'll you know actually be making the trades. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other things we can do in here. You know, we need to add continuous monitoring. It needs to check the position, uh, check profit and loss. Um, and we have to build in a lot of custom things, but I think this is a pretty good starting point. And um, as of now, it can help like quants uh, with like active real time decision making. So um, yeah, if you if you enjoy this, uh, uh, please start the repo and uh, also contribute. Um, we're trying to essentially build like a standard, fully reliable, extremely precise autonomous hedge fund, and uh, it's it's going to be fully open source. So. Um, yeah, check out the repo, start the repo, check it out. And, uh, yeah, if you like this, please like subscribe and, uh, share the word, share, share the video with friends. Um, we're going to be ma building a lot of agentic multi-agent, uh, content from now on, uh, as, as I discovered how to actually build videos. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you have any feedback, let me know in the comments and, uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.